The field of weight loss treatments has seen a dramatic shift in recent years with medications like Ozempic gaining widespread adoption and use. I'm Dr. Chris Thompson from Barriendo, and today we're going to discuss weight loss medications, bariatric surgery, and non-surgical weight loss alternatives. For a deeper dive, check out the link to our Forbes magazine article below. So what is semaglutide? Well, it's a GLP-1 medication, and GLP-1 stands for glucagon-like peptide 1, which is a hormone made by the body. It's secreted from L cells in the small bowel and colon in response to a meal. And then what that does is it circulates in the bloodstream, and it tells your pancreas to produce more insulin. It tells your stomach to slow down, so food stays in your stomach longer. And it also crosses the blood-brain barrier to give you a sense of fullness. So this medication is very effective and was originally approved for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and now it is used for weight loss and is sold under the trade names Ozempic or Wagovi. Despite their efficacy, the decision to pursue these GLP-1 type medications over other weight loss alternatives isn't that straightforward as they are associated with potential complications. These include GI distress with nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation, loss of lean muscle mass, which is a problem because this does contribute to weight regain later, a bone demineralization, so people that are older or already have those problems really need to be careful on these medications. We also don't know the long-term ramifications of being on these meds as we are taking super physiologic doses. And what I mean by that is that instead of having a small release of GLP-1 in response to every meal, we're taking a rather large injection once a week. So to be safe in taking GLP-1 medications, first you must be sure you're a good candidate. So older patients or those that are postmenopausal or are known to have bone mineral density issues should definitely have a DEXA scan um, and be on appropriate medications. People that are sarcopenic or have a uh, kind of small amount of muscle mass already to begin with really should be careful with these medications. And you should definitely do this only under the, uh, the direction of a, uh, of a physician. So what about other alternatives? Well, there are now endoscopic procedures that are non-surgical in nature that are also very effective at helping people lose weight. So one of these is the intragastric balloon. So this is a procedure where we place an endoscope from your mouth into your stomach and place a balloon in the stomach. It stays there for about six months, then we take it out. And over that time period, you lose a lot of weight, similar amount of weight to what you would lose with medications. Then we take the balloon out six months later and uh, it's really important to note that either with medications or with an intervention like a balloon when you're not taking the meds and the balloon comes out your risk of weight gain so this can be an issue so you have to really change that lifestyle and focus on lifestyle modification to maintain the weight loss afterwards another procedure is called esg stomach tightening and this is where we go in through the mouth again so it's non-surgical and we place little stitches in your stomach to make the stomach smaller so when you eat a meal you get full quicker and you stay full longer so what's nice about this is it's a, a permanent procedure so you have long-term weight loss you know uh, five to ten year data looks very good and it is also reversible uh, in a similar procedure going through the mouth and removing those stitches so that's very nice it is organ sparing and you tend to get more weight loss than you do with the intragastric balloon and medications and finally we have bariatric surgery so bariatric surgery is more definitive it's more invasive for sure so this is surgery where you cut through the skin and into the abdomen and generally you are removing pieces of of the stomach um, or you're rearranging the way the bowel works so one procedure is the sleeve gastrectomy where you cut a portion of the stomach out and remove it so that's very permanent you can't reverse that and uh, you get a little more weight loss and there's slightly more risk although it's a very safe procedure and finally there's gastric bypass and gastric bypass is sort of the gold standard weight loss procedure for people that have quite a bit of weight to lose and there you're you're cutting the stomach to make it very small and you're connecting a piece of small bowel to it to bypass the lower part of your stomach and the first part of your small bowel so that one gets the most weight loss about 30 percent total weight loss and uh, it also tends to be the most invasive but again these are all safe alternatives what's most important is that you educate yourself fully about each of these alternatives before making any decisions and there's plenty of resources on our website to help you with that